Hey guys, this is Sarah here at the Native Butterfly Garden here at Fairchild, and I'm holding a coconut. What does a coconut have to do with the Native Butterfly Garden? Well, butterflies are doing the very important job of pollination, and the coconut is a seed. Still confused? Well, pollination is how a flower becomes a fruit, and that fruit frequently has inside a seed, which is how plants make more of themselves. So coconuts are actually the seed of the coconut palm. But have you ever noticed how a coconut is surprisingly light for how big it is? Well, that's because seeds have to find a way to get away from their parent plant. You wouldn't want two coconut palms growing right on top of each other. So when this seed drops, it can actually float away on the water until it finds a good spot to grow. But not all seeds float. Today, we're going to be looking at one of my favorite seeds from our triplarus tree here at Fairchild. And that seed doesn't float, it flies. So here we are at the triplarus tree by the Bailey Palm Glade here at Fairchild. And these are the triplarus seeds. Now you might notice that the seed has these three curved wings up at the top and the actual seed part down at the bottom so that when the tree releases the seeds, they fly. And today we're going to be making our very own flying seed that you can try at home. So what you're going to need to make your flying seed or rotocopter is a piece of paper and some paper clips. Now, if you have access to a printer, you can print out templates. If not, don't worry. You just need a long, tall, rectangular shape, and you're going to follow these guidelines. The solid lines are where you cut, and the dotted lines are where you're going to fold. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut out your rotocopter like this. Now, this is a good time to decorate it if you want to add some color. You might have noticed on our triplarus tree that the flower is a bright pink, but it fades to kind of a dusty brown when the seeds are ready to drop and spin. But your seed can look however you want. I made mine pretty colorful. So what you're going to do is once you've cut on those solid lines, you're going to fold on the dotted lines. So these two lines are going to fold back. And then this little bottom part is going to fold up. Now your top wings, one is going to fold away from you and one is going to fold towards you. So the final thing looks kind of like this. Something's missing, the paper clip. What do we need the paper clip for? Well, for one, to kind of hold together all of these folds, but also remember how on our triplarus seed, that seed was at the bottom, so it was a little heavier. We need something to help weight down the bottom of our seed. Now, once you've finished, your rotocopter is ready to fly. You can turn this into an experiment by trying different sized or weighted paper clips maybe adding some feathers, seeing how else you can modify your seed to make it fly the best. And if you do try this at home, please make sure you tag us at Fairchild Garden or hashtag MyFairchild. See you next time.